my overview. I started here undergrad, then I uh, went on to work at Rockwell in El Segundo building airplanes, and I was doing thermodynamics. And uh, while I was there, I w came back to Anderson. I went to what was Imperial Capital, where I was a founding partner. I uh, ran the research department there, and all this is in high yield e research, and uh, we'll get into it in a little bit about what high yield is. So basically, companies get in financial distress, and the enterprise value company will fall significantly. And it falls to a point, a lot of times, and we'll, we'll have some illustrations later, where you can buy the debt at market at a price significantly below what the fair market value of that company is. So when you're looking at high yield, and you're comparing it to equity returns, it's pretty close. Arguably, the risk is less. Um, for buying a bond than it is for buying an equity, but it's very close in terms of returns. The, the different types of folks that are buyers of this stuff, hedge funds are buyers because they want to make outright returns, but you also have private equity shops that will buy bonds because if a company goes bankrupt, they can take control of that company. Uh, locally, uh, Detroit had a $17 billion municipal bond default. They went through a Chapter 9 process. It's like Chapter 11 for municipalities. Um, and there were some interesting plays over there. And more recently, and, and ongoing right now, is $73 billion of debt in Puerto Rico. And Puerto Rico's got an issue in that they have um, a lot of people leaving. They come to America, they stay in America, so the population is dwindling, the brain trust is dwindling. And they've gone from about $20 billion of debt, maybe 10 years ago, to $73 billion of debt, because they keep borrowing to pay their bills, adding on debt, and, and their cash flows are coming off. And, it's a, it's a really ugly problem, but they don't actually have a bankruptcy law over there to, to resolve this. And so debt trades in the 40s and 50 cents on the dollar for municipal bonds. And it's an interesting play if that'll get fixed. They've created something called the Recovery Act, which is a fake bankruptcy law, which probably won't hold up in court. It's like Greece, but on steroids a little bit. Just a sense of companies that have gone bankrupt out here. And these are, you know, you can see General Motors, Chrysler, Enron, Texaco. Lehman Brothers, and this was what caused the 2008 crisis. So let's say you buy a house for $500,000, and, and obviously this is not in Los Angeles, but somewhere there's a house for $500,000. Banks will lend you $400,000. Uh, let's say you've got a brother-in-law that will lend you $50,000, and you put up $50,000, so boom, you, you bought your house. Things go well, Mark goes to $750,000. You pay everybody back, you just made $300,000. Okay, that's pretty good. Things not so well, let's say we, what we saw back in 2009, Mark goes to $350,000. All of a sudden, the first lien doesn't get covered. They get 87 cents. The bottom two get nothing. And that's kind of what created the, all those mortgage problems that I was talking about earlier. Let's talk about the bankruptcy process a little bit. Why, do, why does the company restructure? Because they can't pay their bills. They want to take the heat off their capital structure. They want to get rid of their fixed payment obligations, whether it's interest or debt maturities. Chapter 11 is the process in the US for bankruptcy. It's Chapter 7, you may hear about, is for liquidations. If a company is just such bad shape, they just start selling off all the assets. Generally, the companies are the ones, in large companies, they're the ones filing the bankruptcies, though. So you've got to figure out how much the company's worth, and you want to cut a deal. So everybody's going to go through, and your financial advisors, your accountants are going to go through, and they're going to figure out how much the company's worth. You're going to negotiate a deal. The people that negotiate are the company's management. They want to keep their jobs. The board is supposed to represent the shareholder, so there's a friction between the board and management, potentially. And as a bondholder, you want to say, look, do I want these guys who just blew up my company running the company? So there's real choice to be made as you go through the bankruptcy process. Just lastly, if you care about looking at bankruptcy stuff, ways you find information, PACER is the US government court docket site. You pay like eight cents a page, but you get all the dockets there and, and look at the filings. And lastly, if you really have a question about bankruptcies, you can call me and, or Email me, and you know I'm happy to answer as well. So.